Hey guys, so I am back with Penny. And you guys know Penny came from Linda's nursery. Um, but this baby was painted and rooted by Tatiana Melikova, I think, Canova, something like that. I can't remember exactly. But um, I don't know if she's showing up well or not on camera. I don't know if it's so much light in here, but this is her. Eh, let's see. And I'm absolutely in love with her. She's she feels so light, like she's not heavy at all. Um, but I love the way she's weighted. I don't know, just something about it. Um, she has like a little scratch over her eye. And um, she's just like, everything is it, all in the right place. So I'm really glad to have her. Um, and I haven't showed her since the box opening. But yeah, she's, she's, she's a keeper. Um, I really like her for just show for the most part. I haven't never put her on any pants because I didn't want to cover up her cute little painting. Um, but yeah, so while I have Penny here, I wanted to also kind of talk about, you know, collecting babies of different, is it ethnicity, ethnicities? What is it, guys? Is it, you know what I mean? Like, say I'm black and I collect white babies or... I'm white and I collect black babies. Like, a lot of people actually have a lot to say about that. And people frown on that sometimes. And it's so funny because people are, can be very public about it. Some people are, you know, kind of like ease it in there or whatever. But for me, I would like to say it's just art, but it's more than that. I actually just love babies and I love realism and if I see a beautifully painted white baby and I can afford it and I want it I get it um and so I can understand someone seeing a very beautiful black baby and seeing it and wanting it and they get it um you know sometimes it looks weird like if if like if I only collected white babies then um I think Unidad talked about this and I know I try not to get into the deeper subjects and stuff like that. But he did talk about this one time and I was listening to him talk. And, mm, you know, he was saying like if you only, if you're black and you only collect white babies, then, you know, I don't know. I don't want to put words in his mouth. But for me, I know I'm kind of like, why don't you like black dolls? Like, you're black. You don't like no black dolls? <laughs> so, I do kind of, I, I won't lie, I do kind of give that the side eye, like, well, wonder what that's about. You know, because, you know, naturally, you know, a lot of, I have a lot of white friends in the community that only collect white dolls. Like, they don't have any black dolls. Or if they do, it's like a light biracial, or they might have one. Some of them just have one. And... I'm perfectly okay with that. I don't think that they are racist or anything like that. I think that we're naturally drawn what's familiar to us. What's, you know, or for instance, if I go out in the store and I take Penny with me, everybody's going to stare. Trust me, when my little brother was little and I used to take him with me a lot, um, people would ask me, even literally ask me, like, who kid is that? Or, oh, is he adopted? Or this or that because he was Caucasian and it's none of their business but they were very concerned or if my mom was with him and she was disciplining him for like running all over the store or something like that um they would like look at her like she was being abusive or something because certainly it wasn't her kid or whatever but anyway so you know for me I like dolls that look like me and I can take them out and they don't draw as much attention. I don't take my babies out like that anyway, to be honest. So it that's not really relevant now. But back in the day, I used to take them out for reactions a lot. But 
I learned that I like my collection to stay pristine and I love you know being able to be at peace with my um with my collection and I don't want to have to give a million explanations as in the why what I don't want to have to be um psychologically evaluated every time I take a baby out in my mental state I mean to be honest if I be truthful sometimes after people question you so much I have at one point did question myself like why do I like this is just a doll just why am I spending this kind of money on a doll? Um, so, it, you know, after a while, it can get to you. Um, so I just, I just don't bother. I, you know, I used to show my friends and I thought they were like enjoying it and they would show other friends. But some of them, I believe, were like making side comments, you know, about me later. Like, oh, she's crazy or... You know, um, a couple of them was like, oh, I, I wish you would just go ahead and have a real baby and stuff like that. So anyway, I don't know. But that's, that's you know, that's our that's our life as doll collectors, right? Um, but yeah, I, I truly, truly love all of my babies. <laughs> I want a baby talk with her. I'm sorry. I started the baby talk. I'm like, okay, let me stop. Yes, point, point, another point. Why do you talk to your dolls? They're not gonna talk back. Yes, they are. Cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, this baby face is just so sweet. It's like bittersweet though when I look at her because it's like, I want to smile and I want to cry. I want to smile and want to cry because it's like I don't know. She just reminds me of Linda so much. Um, but, oh my God, this baby head shape, it feels so real, like a real baby head. Like, it's got the, the shape, like the, the, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but it literally feels like a real head. Oh my gosh, it is so crazy. I love this sculpt. I, and it's funny because I really thought, was like, oh, I might not like this girl. Um, If anybody know Linda and followed Linda from Birdie Babies, she always would turn her baby's legs outward. And it was always funny to me. And so um, I couldn't never really tell how I would like the sculpt and the legs as much sometimes because of the way she would twist the legs or whatever but for whatever reason she had this one posed pretty nicely a couple times and I was like oh um so yeah I I probably won't dress like I said I probably won't dress her as much because I don't want her to go shiny or anything I just want her to stay just in her original state this this artist paint painting is so nice it, she looks almost like she's silicone or because of how translucent her paint looks like so much like skin. It is amazing. It's amazing. I think she's just gorgeous. Her scalp, everything looks so real. It's like, man... She's really beautiful, really, really beautiful. They paint it and rooted and I love her. And she actually stay posed in my room. She's literally, she has a blanket because it, it gets cold in, in my room. It gets really cold in there. So she has a blanket that I lay across her and she lays in there in one of the bassinets and that's probably where she'll always be. Um, because like I said, I just love and I walk over there and I look at her sometime. I just go look at her from time to time. So, um, but I do feel like if I dress her too much, she's going to go shiny or something. So I don't want to do that. And I don't want to remat her or anything or do anything to her because I want her to stay in her original state. So I'm, I'm not going to do much with her some of my babies i'm a little more fragile than even the others because i just 
I'm not sure of the artist, like how they mad and stuff like that. And I just don't want to mess up their work because their work is just amazing. So she's one of those babies. I just want to, and her veining is amazing. I know I shouldn't keep going on and on, but she's really, 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 really nice guys. So I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to have her. I, I wanted to try another one of the babies out of her collection, but I don't, I don't have money to keep putting out. So there's that. Um, but yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm getting sleepy now, but I know it's almost should be almost time for me to be able to go and paint my next layer. I am trying so hard to get done with these babies that's on my paint table. I had started other babies before Nori came because um he wasn't ready and um so to be poured yet um we hadn't ordered them yet or whatever so now um that i started other babies i have to get them off the table but i don't want to rush them to do that so i have to get at least one off in order to get him on so i've been working around the clock trying to finish that up I pause my rooting just to do that and then once I'm done with that I'm going straight back to rooting because by the end of the week um I think I don't know if it's Orion you say Orion or Orion Orion prototype Orion body should be here and I want by the time his or her body arrives I want the rooting to be done as well the full head so that I can put them together and take pictures <laughs> and um I will be doing box opening getting the box opening stuff together once I get I gotta get him fully done I'm calling him a him right now because he from a certain angle he reminded me of my grandson newborn picture and so I used his picture for some of his painting um in his face well, he only have face, but, um, so I'm calling him a boy for right now, but I'm going to see what I like best as far as which way I want to really do the box opening for. And so I'm going to do that first before I go shopping for the box opening stuff. So, um, but I think it's going to be nice. I think it's going to be a really nice baby. I really like him. So I'm excited about that. So I'll be glad when I can get all the paint, the rooting done. I'm hoping the whole head be curly, like the front has been curling pretty nice. So I'm gonna keep rooting, keep rooting, keep rooting, keep rooting. So and then I can do Nori. I'm so excited about the boy Nori because you know how much I love my Nori. My Nori stays with me all the time. So I love the Nori skull. So anyway. I think that is it. I will talk to you guys later. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you have not, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and give this video a thumbs up. If you have not joined the Chatterbox, there are two tiers. There's a tier for $1.99. There are updates and videos on that tier. And the second tier is for $4.99. Um, that one is for exclusive live streams and other type exclusive videos content some vlogging all that stuff so um paint and chat is on pause right now because i i well you know what i'm gonna end up switching it up i'm gonna end up i was starting another baby but i'm going to probably start my paid order baby and probably do pay and chat with that baby in there for the most part as much as i can that's going to be a challenging baby to paint too. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that one on camera. But we'll see. But anyway, there's that. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Say bye-bye, Penny. I'll put Penny, Penny, Penny little self. She's so, and she's so dainty. I don't know why. She's just so dainty to me. 
Oh my goodness. Look at you. Mm, 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 mm. I cannot believe that I have you. I was loving this baby the whole time when um, Linda had her. Such a special. Oh, look, she's lost the sock. You lost the sock. Where are you talking? Oh, here we go. All right, I'll put that back on there.